now going to start with the networking event. And don't think we are going to present results from the project. Uh, of course, if you want uh, some more information is included in the document you have received, uh, the information about the project and the newsletters. Uh, but we are, go we are interested to discuss specific topics. And uh, we think, uh, or we thought from the beginning, because we were thinking how to prepare the frame between these uh, two partners, ASIONA, SICA, uh, and the uh, CSIC. And we would like now to explain to you why this frame, why this, this topic, and what are we expecting from you in this networking. It's my pleasure to introduce a bit this workshop. And the intention when, from the very beginning, when we were discussing what they deserve or time and or effort to address. We, we were challenging each other and we tried to integrate everything under the one single umbrella and one single holistic approach. When we talk about durability or uh, even more sustainability, what does it mean? Is resiliency, is durability? What exactly, what, what does it mean? I, I do believe that sustainability that mean, means a lot of things for, any, for many people here. Our intention was to to focus in, in the life service of materials and make them more lasting, even more lasting, more predictive, how they behave and so on. And this is a good choice, or at least is our choice, how to summarize a bit, what kind of initiatives do we need to tackle, do, do deserve to be tackled uh, from many different perspectives. For that reason, we were considering how we trace material, how we can measure the performance, the features. And in that case, when we talk about pre predictive actions, it's really fitting well in this approach. The idea behind of preventive action is what kind of technologies or technology platforms or even mixed designs can we use to really enhance and improve the level of performance that we need to deliver? That is the technologies or materials behind this part of, of the concept, okay? And the last one is just in case the material and degradation is not lasting as expected. What kind of Latin corrective initiatives may we implement in the material itself where, or relatively with low effort, we can trigger this kind of phenomenon within the matrix? And this is exactly behind these Latin corrective actions and these least this last part also could be included all this kind of natural disaster that could affect aggressively the durability of the materials. This is what, at least my own, my humble opinion, what is behind this re resiliency concept, okay? And this is basically our intention with this workshop, is not that we will talk to you, it's mu much more a cooperative approach where we challenge, we, we present, we try to address the topic, we try to summarize a bit the state of the art or the main challenge is still pending to be addressed, and we want you to interact each other and see how far we can go with in, in this holistic approach, okay? And it is all for the moment. the number of publications by three, and most of them are in the engineering area where we are in construction. So it's an attractive topic concerning cell uh, sensing. Uh, there is even more, an increase of publication by a factor of five in the last five years. And in, uh, again, engineering is uh, in ma and material science is the, uh, the areas or more interest for this topic. Uh, concerning self-healing. Again, there is a clear increase uh, from the last uh, 10 years, and in particular for the last five years, there is an increase in, 
in, the, in a factor of three again. And uh, again, the area of engineering and material science is interested for these topics. Moving to cell protection and corrosion inhibitors, because cell protection is quite more complex topic, was not easy to find uh, a real trend. So uh, um, even though in cell protection, also engineering materials, but also in other areas. But if we move to uh, uh, corrosion inhibitors, for instance, at one of the components of this uh, protection, we found a clear increase also in the last years and also in the area of engineering and materials is advancing and is creating interest. What about of patents then? Then we analyze uh, the patents and we also found an increase in the last years in all the four areas. Of course, the, the one that is increasing more in patenting is cell healing with 119 patents. And uh, then it's uh, followed by cell curing with uh, 51, cell diagnosis system and cell protection system. And what about research project? We, in this case, we concentrate in European projects only. And we review the FAP7 and 2020. And also, you can notice a, a relevant uh, interest in the topic. Uh, we have separated in the three, in the four, topics, cell, uh, cell curing, cell sensing, cell protection, and cell healing. Cell healing is also, again, the, one, the topic that is more addressed, but all of them are of interest, including cell protection and cell sensing. So uh, we think uh, it's the moment we analyze this type of technologies, and we try to discuss together uh, what could be the future for them. And now is, uh, this is the reason for this workshop, and um, Pepe, I think I is your time. Hello, good morning everybody. Uh, I'm Jose Vera. Um, I work in ACCIONA at the R&D Center. And I'm going to introduce uh, the structure of this workshop. The workshop is divided into three different mm, blocks, which uh, we have called them panel analysis. And there are three, uh, projective, preventive, and Latin corrective actions. This is the, the structure of the, of the workshop. Um, well, uh, this is the predictive uh, action panel. It is the, the aim of this panel is to analyze uh, the actual and future strategies of monitoring technologies within the frame of service life of structures. And the speakers uh, are Maricruz Alonso, Esteban Camacho from RDC and uh, Alexander from Arkema. The next panel is the predictive actions, no, preventive actions, sorry. Um, the aim is to evaluate new additives and technologies to improve the performance of concrete and rebar in aggressive environments. And we have here also three different speakers uh, Ramiro from SICA. Sari Rico from Dickerhoff and Federico Maya from Smomatec. And the last panel is the Latin corrective actions. We are going to uh, discuss and analyze here the concrete cracking phenomena and the possible remediation of these, of these cracks. And the speakers in this session is Urs from, from Rice, from Brise, Kim from the University of Ghent and myself from Axiona Construction. Each of the speakers will uh, uh, will talk about his point of view. It could be more a point of view of technologies, more industry or more scientific point of view. Um, then we have the, the we have tried to, to have here the value the the, the wall uh, value chain of the, of the technologies development process. And that's all from my side. I think we can start with the next talk. Uh -huh.